Hello? Anyone? Hello, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. What's going on? Oh, I was told to report to Labour headquarters for the voluntary... Voluntary mandatory re-education programme, yes, that's right. We just want to make sure that you are absolutely at one with the party. Well, I think I am. I did just win a seat for them. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. With all the success Jeremy's been enjoying, how many members are keener to serve? Oh, well, he led an impressive campaign. Proved his mettle. Good. So that we can carry on as comrades together. We just need to make some tiny little changes to the way your whole mind works. Um... Firstly, let me purge you of all those pesky, bourgeois, red Tory trappings that have been holding you back, so I'm just going to take your car keys. And in exchange, I'm going to give you this lovely set of bicycle clips. Now, since Jeremy won the election... I... Uh, he... He didn't actually win. What? He did well, better than we thought, much better. But he didn't actually win. He did. He won the mandate. That's not strictly true. Yes, he did. He defeated Toryism. Well, not in a literal or, or real sense. Tell me, what is the larger number of seats? 318 or 262? 318. Numerically, yes, but what represents more success? 318. Does it, though? Look again. What is more impressive in terms of scale? It's 318. It's a bigger number than 262. It seems that someone is in need of just a teensy bit more persuasion. Susan Love, could you ask John McDonald to pop in? No, please. Surely you've got some thumbscrews or something? 